Have you ever wondered how flowering plants took over the planet? You're not alone. The rise and dominance of flowering plants, or angiosperms, represent one of the most profound enigmas in the history of life. Flowering plants first appeared on Earth over 100 million years ago during the Cretaceous period. The world was a very different place back then, with dinosaurs roaming the land and the first birds taking to the skies. Amidst all this, the first flowering plants quietly made their appearance, ultimately setting in motion a botanical revolution that would change the face of the planet. The evolution of these early flowers was nothing short of rapid. While other plant groups took millions of years to diversify, flowering plants did so in a fraction of that time. This has left many botanists baffled, and the rapid evolution of flowers remains one of the most intriguing puzzles in the world of botany. In their quest to understand this mystery, scientists have employed an array of research techniques. From fossil studies to genetic analyses, these methods have not only shed light on the ancient origins of flowers, but have also helped to clarify their evolutionary history. One of the key factors that catapulted flowering plants to dominance was their unique relationship with animals. Many flowers evolved to attract specific pollinators, offering nectar or pollen as a reward. This mutualistic relationship allowed flowering plants to reproduce more efficiently, leading to an explosion in their numbers. But the success of flowering plants isn't down to pollination alone. Animals also play a crucial role in the dispersal of seeds. From birds and bats to ants and beetles, many creatures unwittingly aid in the distribution of plant seeds, helping to spread flowering plants far and wide. As botanists unravel the complex history of flowering plants, they've developed a taxonomy to categorize and classify the myriad of species. The Latin binomial system, based on genus and specific epithet, forms the backbone of this classification. But it's not just the names that are important. The anatomy of flowers, including their shape, color, and inflorescence, plays a crucial role in classification. The male and female parts of a flower, for instance, are prime factors in determining its family. Moreover, flower color is about more than just reproduction. It can convey vital information about a plant's health, habitat, and even its evolutionary history. Similarly, the size and smell of a flower can work together to attract specific pollinators, further driving the diversification and dominance of flowering plants. From humble beginnings in the Cretaceous period, flowering plants have evolved to become the most dominant form of plant life on Earth. Their success lies not only in their rapid evolution and unique reproductive strategies, but also in their symbiotic relationships with animals. So the next time you stop to smell the roses, remember, they aren't stopping for you. They're too busy taking over the world. And if you've enjoyed this exploration of flowering plants, do hit that like button and subscribe for more. Sharing is caring, so don't forget to spread the botanical love with friends and family. Your support encourages us to delve deeper and bring you more fascinating content. Until next time, stay curious.